Hi, I'm Simon and welcome to the fourth episode of How Far On One Life. And today, I'm going to be playing my first platformer in this series of videos. It's not actually the first platformer I ever played. Although it is an old game, it dates back to 1984 in the arcades. I hadn't actually heard of this until about 2010 when I got Sega's Mega Drive Ultimate Collection on my PlayStation 3 and this was one of the games on it. It's flicky. Yeah, have you heard of it? I mean, like I said, I certainly hadn't until a couple of years ago, but I absolutely fell in love with it and I enjoyed it so much that I went out and bought a copy of it for my Mega Drive collection. I don't have call it a Mega Drive collection, I really don't have that many games for my Mega Drive, but this was one that I knew I wanted to actually own a physical copy of, um, rather than just playing it on my PlayStation 3. Unfortunately, I don't have my Mega Drive here today, or my PlayStation 3 to play either of those versions, and in fact it's not even going to be the Mega Drive or Genesis version that I'm playing. Um, I did try, because uh, I do have a Genesis emulator on, uh, on my Mac, but all of the ROMs I could find for it were the Japanese version, and they either weren't working properly or the Japanese version lacks music, I don't know. But I'm going to be emulating the arcade version, again using MAME OS X, and relying on my trusty Nazar gamepad to play on. So, let's see how far I can get on one life. Okay, here's our eponymous hero showing us exactly what we need to do. Throw things at cats and take the chicks home to score big. Okay, so here's the title sequence with this little biplane flying cat who's dropping flower pots out of his plane to burst balloons. And there's a little flicky catching the chicks down below. I wonder what it will spell. Oh, there's a surprise. Flecky. Well, I know, it's it's a cute game, and I think that's a factor that keeps me coming back to it. I mean, it's, it's a little strange, because normally I'm turned off by the fact that a game is cute. I'll normally avoid them, but I don't know. I think it's something to do with the fact that I love cats, and the cats in this game are particularly cute. That, uh, that keeps me coming back and playing it again, even if they are your enemies. But, uh... oh well, there's a credit. Let's start and see how far I can get on, uh, on just one life. Uh, you'll notice pretty quickly that although the screen scrolls in this game, there really is only one screen. And there we go. So the faster we take the chicks home, the more score we get. <laughs> and um, yeah, I know that sounds bad. And uh, well, it's actually the scoring in this game is one of the things I really like about it because it it encourages risk, risk versus reward. Because the more of these chicks you have with you as you reach the door, the higher your score gets. As you see there, the the last one was worth a thousand points, whereas if you take them one at a time, it's only 100 points each. Another way to get a good score is to do well at this bonus round, which I don't seem to be doing. Yeah, no, not too bad, but not a perfect score. In fact, I like that bonus round. It's probably my favorite or second favorite only to Shinobi. Yeah, it's cute, but there are no ninjas or shurikens, so. It's not that good. Alright. Another thing you really have to bear in mind when playing this game is being strategic with the resources you, you're given. That these items laying around the screen, like here, I think they're telephones, are the only things you can use to take out the cats. And once you've used them, that's it, they're gone. Oh. Right, let's get these chicks out of here. I do like these little ones with the sunglasses on. They are pretty cute. Oh, come on. Get up there. There, so as you see there, 
5,000 points for that last one scored. So yeah, it is definitely the way to rack up a big score, but I'm not playing for score today. I just want to see how far I can get. All right. Come on, get up there. Yes. <laughs> Take that, kitties. Ah, and another bonus round. This time it's a little bit more difficult because you've got to use your slide. Look at that. I, that's one of the things I really like about this game is that Flicky's got inertia. He slides and um, he's really good to control. I think the kind of jump and slide, the control mechanics in this game are really good. Oh, I thought I was going to have two of them there. There you go. Oh, no. Oh, no, there's one left. All right. All right let's rescue you, little chicky. <laughs> cool. Ah, now this, this is where it starts getting really tricky. I don't, I don't often get much past this one on One Life. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I did, I got him. Come on. Oh. Oh no. And that is about as far as I can get on one life. I didn't try and do that. Okay, so Flicky is going to be nothing more than Cat Chow from now on. Let's see if I can go and feed him to the cats. One of the other things I really like is that here's the little cat flap thing. I love the way they, they shake their little heads when they come through. I like that. It's very cute. And also there's another thing that hasn't popped up that if you stand around and yeah, you see up there, there's a in the top left corner, there's a dinosaur thing pokes his head through the window. And if you stand around long enough, he'll come and fire fireballs at you. OK, well, that's it. Game over. So that is I think round nine's about as good as I can ever do on one life. Unfortunately, I didn't get onto round 10 because that's where the little iguana makes an appearance and um, he's pretty quick and he runs around the, the walls and platforms and chases you and makes your life rather unpleasant. So round nine and 95,000 points is uh, pretty good for me, but I'm sure there are plenty of you out there who could do a lot better than this. So let me know What's your top score on Flicky and what you, how far can you get on One Life? Or if you've got time, I'd love to see a response video. Show me how good you are at this and uh, are there any tips you can give me about playing this game? Also, any of you out there that have played it before, let me know what you think about it. And hopefully, those of you that haven't, you can go and give it a go, see what you think. It's definitely, I think it's a great platformer, but maybe I'm crazy and you can tell me. And give me your thoughts on platformers in general. What, what are your favourites? Maybe there are some that I've missed out on that I should be playing. So, thank you very much for watching. From my spare room to wherever you are, this is Simon signing off. Bye-bye.